A new raid lair has become available, but what exactly lurks beneath the surface? What's up tamers, Livid here, back with a brand new video. Today we're heading to the high below, teaching you about the Sacred Lake raid lair and breaking down exactly how it all works. In order to gain access to the second raid lair content in Temtem, you'll need to head to the Sacred Lake in Sapanku and complete a short quest that'll take you into the High Below, a brand new area in the world of Temtem. You'll find this quest from the Devout Priest at the top leftmost area of the Sacred Lake. You'll head over to the Miyako Village to speak with the High Priest, who will then give you a scroll containing three questions that need answers. When both hands clap, a sound is made. What is the sound of one hand? A tree falls in the forest, unseen. What is its color? And when you can do nothing, what can you do? Head back to the lake and you'll now need to locate the philosopher in the high below. A few quick things to note so you are prepared before heading in. The lake will have multiple points that lead you into the high below, what can only be described as an alternate mirror dimension inside of Temtem in search of 12 shrines to once again unlock the raid lair door. Now that matters because in order to unlock the raid lair door, you'll need to activate these shrines for each Temtem type in the game. In order to do so, you'll have to bring in those types to activate each shrine, which likely means multiple trips in and out. Now the battles here are significantly more difficult than the ones we faced in the Onik Volcano, comprised of doppelgangers of familiar faces that we've encountered previously in Temtem. Now once you have that all planned out, we prepared a handy map for the connecting pathways between the High Below and the Sacred Lake to show you exactly where every shrine is located and how to get between areas effectively. Once you locate the Philosopher, ask the following three questions. First, if a tree falls and nobody sees it. Second, two hands make a clap, what does one? And finally, what do you do when you can do nothing? Now finish locating all 12 shrines, and once you activated every single type of shrine, return to the High Priest to finish the quest. The option to raid will now become available to you. The raid lair functions exactly like the first raid lair, and if you need to know how those work, check out our first raid lair video that goes over exactly how to tackle a run. Now some quick things to note for this specific lair to set you up for success. The mythical Temtem that you will be going up against is a pure electric type meaning you'll want to shoot for Earth and Crystal Blade Temtems if at all possible to take it down. Now its traits are also a pain, with short circuit preventing all stat stage changes on all Temtem. That means no buffing or debuffing. You'll just have to man fight your way through this encounter by managing items, your team's stamina, and their HP. Now hopefully you snag some really good solid bonuses to take on the mythical Temtem. You'll also see the traits effective denial, making damage taken from effective techniques reduced by 30%, and resistant, making negative status conditions turn counters decrease by one. Now this Temtem is a pretty long and drawn out fight if you have to bank on one or two Temtem to carry like I did. Now just like the first raid, upon depleting the final health bar, you'll take down the mythical Temtem Volgon and get access to the final chest reward. Your first completion each week will reward you with a mythical egg as well as a few other goodies from the loot pool. Each completion after that during the week We'll just pull from the loot pool, adding in a cool incentive to run these each week, and even just to farm things like breeding materials. Now we hope this helped out at least one tamer on their journey, and if it did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're looking for a great community, check out our Discord. We have a solid 7,000 member Discord, with well over 2,000 of them interested in or playing Temtem, so we hope you drop by. My name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.